Hey up guys, <laughs> just going to do a quick update on stuff. Uh, right, first of all I might as well just get that one out of the way. Uh, I ain't going to be at the Salford game for, for the aways. I wasn't planning on doing that one anyway, there was a chance I might have been able to have gotten the ticket, but by the time I'll be able to get out of work and get sorted out, wouldn't be able to make it anyway. So I won't be able to do that one, there wasn't much of a possibility, but I was thinking of it last minute. Like I said, a little while ago, sorry, was that the next game I will be at will be against Catalan. Now, as some of you might have heard, there is a bit of thing going on about whether it's going to be post, whether the um, Cat the Dragons next game is either going to be cancelled, well, cancelled, but postponed or played behind closed doors. So I'm not 100%, but I think it's postponed for now. So don't know whether our game here is going to be going ahead against them. Uh, not Sunday coming up, but the Sunday after. Now, for that one, I'm not going to be in the Boston stand. I'm going to be at Springfield stand. I'm trying something different this time for the vlog. As well as trying to, this time I'm going to, again, try and get a bit more action about what's going on. So you don't have to see my ugly mug. As well as everything else. Plus, I'm getting a little bit tired of seeing the backs of the players when they're coming out. So I'm going to try and get a bit better angle because where i'm going to be sat i'm going to be pretty much in a good line so as to get a good head-on view of what's going on for that one plus i will have a nice big transgender transgender flag with me and again i wish these hiccups would disappear well yeah i'm going to have a nice big transgender flag with me and if i can try to turn it into a cape it will do uh apologies for my vocals being a bit messed up <coughs> just because i've had a bit of coffee bit and for some reason, my throat decided it wants to mess up. Ah, vanilla cola. You didn't see that. Yes. Oh, yeah, by the way, this T-shirt's a choice. NASA shirt. Stars and stripes. Screaming eagle. Yay! Nerdage. A little bit of nerdage every now and then. But yeah. So there's that one. Again, with the football, I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to be doing anything really much to do with the football with all of that so i don't really know what i'm going to be doing with that i might do it end of the season i don't know and for away days again guys suggestions down below for away days it needs to be local or local ish easy for me to get to due to work uh, and to be honest i would like it to be a sort of rivalry as well now thanks to all of the guys who were commenting with all of the suggestions and that lot now i know I did leave it a bit vague and um, I did make it quite a large one but what I was thinking my idea was if you was the commissioner or you was the owner of a club and you could boot out a football team and take over their home why I was thinking Molyneux and some of the other stadiums was because it would make a grand statement because it's a big imposing ground for some of them especially places like Villa Park things like that because it's right on top of you it's the whole that's the whole idea of it would be an imposing atmosphere. Now, again, one of the things that bubbled up into my mind after I'd finished recording was, one thing I would love to see is at Tottenham's new ground. What if we could get rugby at Tottenham? Because they've got NFL, and they've got the football. So what if we could take over, instead of having the NFL field, if we took over the soccer pitch, and we changed the markings and we have that. That would look epic in there. Because of the, the 17,500 just in that one stand alone, that wall of noise would be epic as well. So there's that. There's a few people have said kind of like some of the lower league grounds or kind of like, you know, say, taking over Brammy, Bramall Lane. Again, good suggestions, really good. Especially Bramall Lane, historic stadium. If you don't know about Bramall Lane, it used to be a cricket ground. Well, part of it is on where an old cricket ground was. Because that's how that football club grew about. It was through like football and through cricket and a couple of other things. So it's got a lot of history to it. And it is an old-fashioned ground and it is quite like, on top of you and quite compact. So yeah, that would be a really good idea. And some of the others, like not Bournemouth, but um, wherever. Some of the lower league grounds as well. That would be really good because it's like 11, 12, 13,000 capacities, things like that. Because our home matches... So far, the highest I have been in, and this is going back to the last year, 
was, I think it was 21,000, and that was against Sydney Roosters. Yeah, I was stood in the Boston stand for my first rugby game in a very long time, with God knows how many thousands in that stand, making the total on that day to around, I think it was 21, it might have been 20,000, but I think it was 21,000. Could even be 22. I'm not 100% because I can't fully remember. I know I should have researched before I did the video, but unfortunately I didn't. I just did this one on the fly. Like I did all that, not that, but like I did my last update video. That one was on the fly. There's, there's that. Some of the other stuff as well. Some of the other things that I'm coming up with as well is there is the possibility that I might be doing, if I can find it, movie reviews. I've already seen this twice before. So I don't really need to actually watch it in depth, but there might be like movie reviews, game reviews, things like that. I might start that up again if I can get the time. Now, Star Wars, I haven't seen the latest Star Wars, so I'm going to wait for that one to come out. But then I'm going to find a way of having it on digital or get it on Blu-ray, DVD, whatever, do that. There's, there's a Sonic movie. I've still got to watch that yet. I've wanted to watch that since the flipping day that it came out. I haven't got. I didn't get a chance this time to do what I could do with Detective Pikachu on release day. Go and watch it as one of the first people of the day to go and watch it on release day. And yes, I do have a copy of Detective Pikachu in my cupboard. I've got that on Blu-ray as well. So there is that. Along with now, my computer at the moment is basically limping along, so my edit skills are being hampered a bit. But it might be my fault. I might have broke my own hard drives i don't really know because i was looking for stuff and probably didn't clean the computer out enough and didn't really look after it enough or it could just be that i've just got an old hard drive and it's just decided that it just wants to say hi i'm going to just put a stop on what you want to do bye bye you know what computers and electronics do so it could just be that or it could just be just something random where it could have just messed up on an update i don't know but there's that so i'm gonna i know i'm definitely gonna be building a new computer at some point but i just don't know whether this one that i've got now is gonna sustain this or not i do have a backup to do edits and stuff on but that is running windows 7 and i haven't used it in a while but it is on an ssd so i am able to use it a bit quicker but i'm going to get an ssd for my mini monster over here Unfortunately, you can't see it, but my new build is going to be covered in rainbows. So there's going to be rainbows for that. Speaking of rainbows, again, for the game, I'm going to have rainbow wrist cuffs and all sorts of other little trinkets. I know I said that I wasn't really much into it, but I was leaving that one as a bit of a, uh, a hint to the possibility that I might be joining in the um, parade of colour. And we'd be doing it differently. Uh, yes, I'm going to be having rainbow flags, but... Being transgender, I'm going to have a transgender flag with me, just as a little moment, just to basically show myself for that. As for the rest of it, again, once I do get that, I might get a video capture card and start doing more live stream uh, of games, stuff like that, because I haven't done that before. So that could be that. Health update wise, I've had some good news. I don't have Addison's. Now, if you were watching one of my very early health updates which i did i think it was probably three years ago now i said it said at that point that i was diagnosed with possible addison's i now don't have it i've been told i probably never had it, it might have just been a false diagnosis just due to either my health at that time not being quite right or whatever but i don't smoke anymore i don't vape anymore yeah all right i like a beer who doesn't like a beer every now and then but other than that i don't really do a lot in that reprise so hey there is that there is that bonus yes i'm still going deaf <laughs> unfortunately i'm not going to be able to alleviate going deaf there is that but hey things are getting better as for sheffield don't really know again with those what is going to be happening with those either because there is a chance that i might have to wait a while just because of the way that this system works along with what's going on with all of this coronavirus as well. So there is that. Football vlogs, like I said earlier, don't really know whether I'm going to do that, but I know there's quite a lot of people that do football vlogs anyway. So I don't really know whether it's going to do it, plus I'm happier doing my rugby vlogs 
mainly because of the fact that I can sit there and have a beer. Uh, I can just chill, relax, be myself. And the fact that because we've got the Pride game coming up, I can basically act like a bit of a tool. Oh, yeah. Thanks to the um, guys as well who were commenting and basically saying, yeah, all right, I know, because I've had two whole teams back to back, one was Hull FC, one was Hull KR. Yeah, all right, I know, KR, the Rovers or the Robins, Hull FC, the Hull, whatever. I'm not too bothered with it because I'm still learning how to basically do it without being offensive and I know it's all bants, especially the bants chants that were going on in the stadium as well. Yeah, I am going to keep on with my weirdness and the bants chants and the oddness and everything. Why not? It's what people seem to like about it. And as for the other thing as well, is trying to keep less of it on my ugly mug and more onto the action. I'm going to try to get a bit more on the action. I'm going to try to condense the stuff down of what I do. Because it's probably going to be still that in-walk, out-walk and all the bits and pieces of some of the stuff. But I'm probably going to keep try to keep some more on-field action and less back to me just because sometimes I was constantly meerkatting going back and forth between me phone screen on pitch screen whatever I'm going to try to keep that to a minimum I can't promise that I can do that but I'll try now I have booked in for the Alton trip so that is now booked I have now got my holidays booked in at work and I've got the time slots booked in at Alton Towers as well. So there is that. And with the opening of Blackpool Pleasure Beach coming up soon and my birthday coming up rapidly, exactly one month from recording date, exactly one month. So I've got to try to squeeze in, if I possibly can, a trip to Blackpool. Now recently, yes, I went to Wales. I went to Wales the day before the Hull KR game. Now, that was spur of the moment and I was going to, if I possibly could have done, done a little micro urbex of an abandoned ship. It used to be a car carrier for the LMS, the London, uh, London Midland and Scottish Railways. That's the days before, I think. See, well, it most likely did carry on after the days of British Rail starting. But the LMS was ended by British Rail. Just a little bit of train nerdage for you. Yes, we've got LNER going on on the East Coast. Now, a few people were hoping that we would get LMS back on the West Coast. Because Virgin West Coast got taken over because they lost their franchise. And that's now Avanti West Coast. Or Avanti West. Ironic, an Italian company running a franchise that uses mostly, or at the moment, most of their main trains are Italian. The Pendolino, or the Class 390. Sorry, I know, I'm showing a bit more nerdage, but hey, who cares? Nerdage is good. Nerdage is all good. But yeah, so there is that. Along with, I don't know what's going on with Northern right now as well, because that's now gone back to the, the government as well. So I don't really know how that's going. Last time I was on a train, it was still Northern Rail. So it was still owned, well, still run by Arriva Rail. But at the moment, it's not being run by Arriva Rail anymore. It's now being run by the government at the moment. So I don't know how that one's going to go. And there's still new stock coming in for that. Avanti have said that they're going to be getting, I think it's Class 800s. It's going to be more Hitachi bullet-like trains. So there's more high-speed trains that are going to be going in on that side. So their sets are going to be going that way. Along with all their voyages, I think their voyages might be being cascaded down to other companies. I'm not 100% sure with that one. Because I'm a bit out of my depth with rail news. But I'm just going to use this as a bit of a... Uh, an intro to everything because I'm probably going to try to do more stuff as well. Work-wise, again, I'm still on a, a five-day week. This has been recorded on the day after work, so my throat is still a little bit screwed up after being at work. And I did go to the doctors today as well, so there is that going on. I've still got old trusty. And yes, okay, I am filming you on a cell phone mobile, basically. I do have a Samsung phone. 
No, I don't have an iPhone. I may end up with an iPhone or I might end up with a Mac to do some of my edits as well. There is a possibility that I might cross the void and go to Mac for my edit. Just to do so I've got my edit base and things like that and use a PC for my PC gaming, stuff like that. I don't really know how that's going to work. I may end up just getting an iPhone one day when I just get annoyed with my Samsung phone. So far, I've had no problems with it. I've only had one incident where it failed to charge, but that was just because it was my fault because I didn't realise that my charge wire was broke. Uh, as it is the oval USB, USB-C. That is a bit more expensive for me to get some parts for, but again, it's fine. I can still do bits like that. Another nerdy tech news. I haven't got any other nerdy tech news. The stuff locked away up here that I can't see yet, because that might be for another project. But other than that, I can't really say a lot. Don't really know about all the trips. Not much else I can say apart from just keep your peepers peeled. There might be more stuff coming out. And again, if I can get a rugby news thing in, I don't know what I'm going to call it, whether I'm going to call it weekly scrum, scrum news, scrum down, I don't know. Suggestions down below. All appreciated. Anyway, peace.